How is it Krakalaka my friends? It is Colossal's back with some more Heroes of the Storm. Welcome to Heroes of the Storm 2.0. We are now in the new era, the, the, new the new collection system, the new loot system, new progression. Everything is new besides the game itself. Uh, just because there's been a lot of changes done to different heroes and just, just different balance changes and different like reworks and stuff. Just because there's been plenty of that while I, I was away, not recording at all. I've decided to do one more A through Z series, basically going over every single hero from an A from letter A up to letter Z. Uh, why why is it going to be the last one? Just because there's there's just way too many heroes now. So we are sitting on like 65, 66 heroes right now. Um, while we go through this series, I want to give you guys kind of like a assurance that yes we are going to go over the the new releases first so for, let's say the new one is going to be diva diva is going to be somewhere around this section here therefore we're going to go over her as she goes out anyway today we'll be looking at our first hero abathur abathur did not receive too many changes uh, he received some uh, more of a balanced tweaks, like uh, he, he was just not seeing enough play in competitive, in quick match and hero league, so they just kind of buffed his numbers, but there, were, there weren't any major reworks or any talent changes. So he's pretty much stayed the same over the last couple of years. I think I think the, the, the biggest change that happened to him was uh, the change to his uh, ultimate evolution, which is still the go-to town, by the way. Uh, it, it is his... Um, uh, it is his ultimate um, ability where he just kind of creates the copy of a friendly character and is able to control it for a few seconds anyway we're gonna we're gonna take a look at him just because he is a very very unique playstyle in heroes of the storm and honestly in the entire MOBA universe so we're gonna take a look at him and see how it goes logical decision All right, boys and squirrels, we find ourselves on the Sky Temple map today. Not the best, but definitely not the worst for Abathur, just because we are missing a support. Both teams are missing, actually, a support. The enemy team has a Tosser, but he's not... He's, in quick match, he's not actually considered to be a support. He's kind of like this specialist hero. But we're gonna go for Carpus Heal Stark. This is, this is our Q ability. Basically, what our Q ability is is we can top hat somebody we can basically give them our divine protection uh, our q ability is a stab in front of us our w is uh, a little aoe that deals damage and our e is a shield which also now will which also now will heal our target um Abathur is very very special in a way where he doesn't actually ever enter combat himself he actually uses his friendlies like i'm gonna use this person right here to actually deal damage and I actually did save him because that extra health actually did matter. And at the end, we were able to save our Zul'jin from imminent death. But definitely, uh, definitely the, the heal is going to come in handy here. So I'm going to give, give the heal to our friendly cooldown here. You can see he's regenerating a little bit of health. This game is actually super high on volume. But anyway. So yes, that was our level 1 talent. Basically, our Q ability is basically giving that top hat. Our W ability is setting down mines, which basically become active a certain period of time. By the way, I can also top hat minions, mercenaries, also buildings to protect them and just kind of deal some additional damage. Um, so yes, yeah, so basically mines need some time to set up. So I'm going to start setting them up. Basically, not allowing people to make rotations to this lane. I'm going to need, need some assistance in this lane right here. Uh, because this Li Meng, even though she's not a great pusher, she will be able to push me out pretty easy just because there's no presence in the lane itself. So uh, as, uh, as I just said, I will be able to uh, hat the buildings and kind of get the pressure off of them. Now that Li Meng moved away, I can actually move into the lane and provide what Abathur is really, really good at. He's just very good at split soaking. So while my team is actually up there, I will be able to sit my booty in this lane and kind of not move it and, and actually soak the experience which is here. I do have to be cautious of the um, of the Valira roaming. So again, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set down the, uh, the the things. I'm going to give this guy a top hat, give him, uh, give him some healing. I actually did save him from a stun <laughs> from Valira by revealing her with my W. Uh, let me set down the, these guys here. 
kind of get this pushing in the right direction and get this minion a little bit healed up. Level four, we are going to go for the persisting Carapace. With, with, with this, I'll be able to hot somebody, give them a shield, and just bail. And the shield will stay stay for them, of course, um, if they uh, well, if they if they live or just not die, I guess. <laughs> Again, keep keep reinforcing this. We we do need to protect ourselves um, from that gang, from uh, potentially from Valira. Valira, I, I do see Valira up top. I know that my team is in trouble, but they're not supposed to be engaging because they do have Abathur on their comp. I'm gonna go into the here, provide him with a little bit more damage, enabling us to get that kill on the enemy Alarak. I'm still down here, but Valira is now missing. Okay, Valira still up here. Ah, that's fine. Get that Valira, bitch. Kill Valira, but uh, Valira's not gonna go down. Looks like our variant is gonna go down uh, though. Uh, but looks like you, you can see how much split pushing I was able to, to do down in the bottom lane. Just because I've already drained these towers and they're taking a little bit of damage. While this is happening, I can also come in here into the middle lane and just keep that pushing in the right direction. Cities down, so they hit the minions. Uh, I do have to move away now because Alrak is making his way into the lane. And that's it. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna come on onto our Tannis, provide him with some much needed healing, and he looks like he's gonna be back, and I'm just gonna bail. There we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Again, just stop these pesky, pesky rotations. Looks like uh, the uh, middle fort for the enemy team is getting pushed down, so let me just help it. Let me just help it fall. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just that helpful of a person. I'll be able to help it just fall down to the ground. Tastar comes in and gets to some of those shields. I need to be careful to not get poked over the wall. And it's gonna be alright. Stop the rotations again. Uh, we need some help down here, my friends. Uh, level 7, we are definitely going to go for the carapace shields, all nearby allies. I am going to shield my. Um, and try to kill the minions first. Very nice damage here from our friendly uh, Gul'dan here on that uh, pesky pesky Alarak. Uh, there's no need to do to dive this. Alright. Fine. Looks like we did lose our little gin, but we did pick up, a, a, I think, a triple kill up in the top. I wasn't actually paying attention. Anyway, what my, what, what this uh, talent will do is going to enhance my ability to split push. So what I'll be able to do, when I press my E ability while, I, while I'm in my Q, I'll be able to give the shield to every single person in this lane. Basically allowing me to just, and also give them, you know, give that... So... Press my E, and you can see every single minion gets the shield. Looks like somebody gets taken down. Uh, I won't be able to do too much about it. I will just kind of maybe stop people from creeping in those in those things. I might actually just go top. We, it looks like we have bottom sorted out. So now the, the, the fight has moved to the bottom lane. I'll be able to bottle to the top. Use my Z ability, by the way. Use my uh, ability to kind of be global and soak this experience for my team while also providing them with a little bit of usage here. Um, so you go to the middle lane, get that shield. Right, I think I'm gonna have to move down now. Go down a little bit of trouble, but I'm not. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna go down, do this, shield them. Uh, can you? Can Keep that pushing in the right direction. Looks like, looks like our Zildjian is going to be taken out. I'm going to give him the shield and also some healing, of course. You guys, you guys still have to remember that. Nice, nice, very nice. I do reveal her, and looks like that's, I think that's going to be kill for us. No, no, so bad. All right, anyway, uh, if she does try to stay, uh, if she does try to come up here, she's going to be st stopped by my mines, though. So. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. I'm sorry, I couldn't save you, my friend. I could not save you. But uh, but have some cookies. Have some cookies now. All right. There goes another split push. This is gonna give us some give some more survivability to the lane. I think somebody just pushed that lane out. Actually, just move back a little bit. I'm gonna go for the evolve. I'm gonna go for the um, monstrosity here, but the evolution. 
what the evol evolution is going to do for me. Uh, it is going to basically allow me to clone one of my friendlies, uh, becoming basically just again just a copy of that of that person, uh, allowing me to do use all my abilities besides the um, b besides the actual um, heroic ability. Uh, I'm here on the. I just bailed on him. Oh, that was bad. I don't know what is he doing. He's trying to be cool. Go into the minions. Thank you. I need to be careful here because. But I think Valera is gonna be basically. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, go into the objective. I'm gonna copy the cooldown here. That's fine. And you can see that I did disappear from the map, but I am basically a Gul'dan now. <laughs> That's what I am right now. Uh, I'll be able to kind of clear the lanes, um, and just do whatever a Gul'dan and just normal Gul'dan would do. I'm gonna go for the Bombard Strain on this on this level range, basically allowing me to add a little bit of uh, like even more pressure from my um, from my Locust. Which, by the way. <laughs> Is my trait? No, did not explain my trait. I'm really bad at that. My trait is basically I spawn these locusts that just kind of go down the lane and just push down. Once we are down on the boss, I'm gonna actually help my friendlies here. They should move out of the stun. We're gonna pick up a kill on the enemy Diablo. Um, she, she's right there. There we go. She won't be able to engage. But it looks like Alrak is moving right onto the objective. He'll be able to pick up a kill here on our friendly. Oh no! Why you? We are so bad. Oh, okay, so the enemy team does pick up the boss. This is not a big deal. As long as we just move away and just defend, this is not a big deal at all. I do not have my uh, my evolution. Looks like they will pick up a boss, but I will in uh, trade that with their fort. Just kind of ex extend that push. Valira is missing, so let me just go back. Let me go back. Actually, do I need to go back? Or I'm just gonna just gonna chill like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's missing, but I don't really give a shit. I'll be fine. I'm Abathur. Uh, our our Tannis is moving very very um, aggressively here. Not really sure what this is, but uh, looks like we do have a spawn in the middle. So I'm gonna just borrow middle. Uh, looks like we are get some healing to this person. All right, time to go in, boys. Very nice fear is gonna actually, I think, secure us a kill. Yeah, this is gonna definitely secure us a kill on Diablo here. Artanis keeps going in. Let me just poke it down this Ar Arthas, not Arthas, what the fuck, Tassadar. That, that's what he is. And uh, while I do have this O is still active, let me just poke down these towers, man. Yeah, kill that copy like it's nobody's business. I'm gonna actually do burrow bottom again. Provide some pushing power to that lane, which is already pushed back a little bit, and get that pushing in the right direction. Help my friendies a little bit here. Our friendly um, variant going for a rather not not advantageous build, to say the least. I'm gonna go for Locust Brood right here. Another kind of a split push ability. I will be able to just kind of enhance. Uh, I won't be able to do too much. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I'm not sure why we need two people down here for. Um, so what I'm gonna do... I'm kinda gonna move with this lane. This is gonna, by the way, this is gonna be a huge push. A huge, huge push for our friendly team here. I was like, uh, Tassar is already dealing with it. So there we go. That, that's actually my, uh, my town which I picked up. What it does... Uh, it allows me to spawn three of my of, of my, basically these locusts at once. Uh, that's happening every forty five seconds. All right, so looks like I'm gonna just go down down here. This actually might be a very risky borrow for me. So again, just gonna use use my abilities here to clear that little lane. Let's just, just back off. Just just go and do something else, please. I got this. Okay. I mean, all right. Five seconds until my borrow, so I will be able to just kind of borrow bottom. 
Come here, bro. Thank you. Spawn these guys. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. I'm waiting for the stun. Oh, I was going to go into my evolution there, but oh, the Falira just gets lucky, spots me, and it's just GG, boys. Oh, so fun, so fun. Anyway, maybe I could have escaped. Maybe if I didn't show here, maybe I, I was able to escape. Maybe, but yeah. All right, so did I explain all of my things? No, I did not. So okay, Network Carpus will allow me to shield basically all allies and all um, kind of mercenaries and everything. Uh, basically, all again, all allies in a certain radius around the, the person who I'm on. When I press my E, everybody's going to get shielded and get certain uh, certain benefits. Uh, evolution will allow me to right clone target ally heroes and control it for 20 seconds. Avatar has perfected the clone, granting it 20% spell power, 20% bonus attack damage, and 10% bonus movement speed. Cannot use their heroic ability. So it's kind of an enhanced version of whoever we just copied. Right? Which is pretty strong, right? Pretty fucking strong, man. We are waiting for the level 20. Level 20 is super, super strong for our Abathur friend. Let's get this push in the right direction. One more Q and I'm gonna be out of here. There we go. Uh, looks like... Uh, we do want to engage on the bottom. That's actually super fine. Not, not. Uh, I'm gonna copy the Artanis here. I think Artanis is gonna do a lot of work down here. Oh, get swap, bitch! Gotcha. Easy swaps right there. Easy swaps. Let me make it clear the wave uh, while I'm... Okay, so let me just kind of move move towards this objective here. I will need some help up, up here. I'm, I'm just, Honestly, I'm going to spawn these, these locusts here. I'm going to actually grab the free shots like this. Once he starts moving to me, I'm just going to bail. Uh, and just, just kind of bail. Again, just grabbing the free shots. I, I don't see people doing this enough. Um... Which kind of, which kind of uh, pisses the shit out of me, but again, I can't do too much about it. Let's set these up a little bit here. Looks like they did lose another person. Got some healing by doing this. And again, just, just keep my push going, keep my push going. I'm kind of in a weird spot, so I'm just going to bail bottom. Again, they don't need me here. Uh, let me go on them. By the way, my level 20 talent, what it will do for me, it is going to... Why Why are you still going in? Why is he still going in? Uh, what it's going to do is basically I'll be able to top hot two people. So basically wh whenever I top hot somebody, um, also a person next to me is also going to be top hotted. Basically, well, not, not next to me, not next to me. Oh shit, Valir's coming bottom. I just realized that Valir was coming here. <laughs> okay, let me just bail. And then whenever I get a chance, I'm just gonna borrow top. By the way, these things, the, the mines do actually give me vision, which honestly is super, super good. Let me just kind of get this wave uh, up and running, and we're just gonna be able to snowball this game out of control now. Again, just kind of giving some, some healing. I, I just, I, I, I'm not doing this enough, by the way. I'm not doing enough of... Uh, enough of healing my friendlies in, in this situation i'm gonna move, move a little bit closer to grant some more uh, health by the way they, they do have a duration on them these uh, these locusts and this is gonna be game for for the friendly gg i hope i kind of showed how abathur can be very very impactful in the game as long as your team knows how to play with abathur i, I i'm not saying that my team knew how to play with Abathur, necessarily. They just kind of played, and I was there to su support them. Maybe not as much as I wanted to, but definitely as much as I as, as much as I needed to. Again, I have not played Abathur for a while. I've only played one uh, warm-up game before this, and hopefully, this kind of shows up. This kind of shows you. Um, 
how you can honestly kind of play about and what he's really good at. He's honestly good at split soaking. He's good at um, kind of tipping a fight in your favor just because you, you do get a copy of a person who's actually stronger because you do get spell power, movement speed, and attack damage. Uh, increased by uh, when the copy is actually active, so you can do you can actually do deal some massive massive damage when you when you time it right, um, and yeah, this is kind of a standard build that I go for whenever. I don't want to say when there's no support, but whenever, even in Hero League, uh, whenever I, whenever I pick up Abathur and we have a front line or a person who we just want to kind of a it's mainly melees that I want to just make hyper carry. I go for this build. So I go regener regenerative microbes to heal a target, uh, sustained carapace for the increases the shield amount of symbiote's carapace by forty percent. So again, just bigger shield, more survivability, and also allows it to persist. So I can just kind of let's say Q on somebody and then R just leave completely, and they but they will still be healing for a few seconds. Uh, net network carapace again, just kind of enhancing my team fight whenever I'm not with my team because of course if they group up they're all gonna get the shield plus also uh, enhancing my split push ability um, ultimate evolution again if you don't pick this talent up you're actually setting your team up for for a loss uh, I don't want to say it's a loss it's a basically uh, automatic loss no the other ultimate makes you win harder it doesn't necessarily win your games it win, it makes you win them harder so if it, let's say there's a game which you would have won anyway like you say your your team hyper carries you yes then in those situations you can actually pick the other the other ultimate even though you'll be hated for it but ultimate evolution is the way to go most of the games to either win the game or just to win the even harder so yeah just go go for it every single time <laughs> i would say uh bumper strain Locus basic attacks become a long range siege attack that deals 70% more damage. So again, just kind of going from here to here, going from our level seven, uh, our, our level seven, kind of enhancing our team fight and our split push, we kind of go all out on a split push. I do like to go for a different talent level 20, uh, but I thought we needed it with a double front line. Um, so again, just th this kind of adds um, a little bit more of split push. So where we are in, uh, where we are sitting our booty in the lane. Um, where there's no enemies when you spawn these guys they will be clearing out f ways faster and kind of allowing you to split push much much more effectively the uh, locust brood again kind of going along with bomber strain <clears throat> allowing you to spawn three three more to push that lane even more and level 20 we did go for hive mind symbiote creates an additional symbiote on a nearby allied hero this symbiote mimics the commands of the first one but does half the damage and shielding so you know it's not as good but still allows you to, to deal damage still allows you to be present on a different person within a certain radius on level 20 i do also like to go for the locust nest this allows you to kind of play play mind games with, with your with the enemies this basically allows you to set down a nest which just like you every like 20 or something seconds spawns a locust um, so what you can do there's some very very nice tactics around it you can you can go to go to a lane set this down and also set down your locust brood and just go back to base you go back to base and this stays there and keeps actually keeps that lane pushed up until somebody deals with your locust nest so this is the the go-to talent but on this on this map and on this with this team i thought this is gonna be a little bit more useful hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't unfortunately well you can slap down the dislike ring you know what to do but if you did you can also like this video and share with your friends and just subscribe to the channel because there's much more coming of course we just started an a3z series you can see i do have experience with this game already uh, i am currently a diamond four uh, i have not played security really at all for, yeah, for the past few days but anyway again this is just a start to this to the series tell me what you guys think about it tell me what you want from this here uh, from this series i i what i will also want to do in the future videos i want to give you guys kind of like a look kind of like an insight on the heroes what they were before they are or before what they are right, what they are, are right now right now um yeah without further ado i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.